One of the things I want to show in this video is how easy it can be to get infected with some sneaky malware. So we have a file here that pretends to be an NVIDIA driver update. As you can see, it's the Windows installer package. And if we take a look at the details, it says it's a driver update from the NVIDIA corporation. And if we run it, it's going to open up what looks like a setup. At the same time, I also have Process Explorer, which is a system internals tool by Microsoft running, and we're also doing virus total lookups. And this is one of the things I want to highlight as well, is that there are absolutely no detections for this driver update setup. So for all you know, this could be an actual driver update package. And if we go ahead and click next, it says it's going to extract to this folder called App Data Roaming NVIDIA Corp driver update. And yeah, I know this does not look like the typical GeForce experience setup, but this is just the extraction process. And a lot of laptop manufacturers like Asus do have setups that look like this if you download the NVIDIA drivers through them. And we'll go ahead and do next and install, because why not? And we're monitoring this in real time. The process being run is the Microsoft process, which is the MSI exec for Windows installers. And it is a safe application according to Vars Total, according to all the metrics that we're looking at here. And now the setup is complete. We can go ahead and hit finish. Now, it looks like nothing happened. The process exited as expected. It ran, there were no detections. But what if I told you this system was now infected with malware? That's not possible, is it? Well, let's find out. So I'm gonna do a quick scan with Hitman Pro, which is just a second opinion scanner. We're just gonna do a one-time scan and let's see what we find. So we start off with a tracking cookie, no big deal. But then a few seconds later, we have this file, which is a malware in app data roaming. Where did this come from? Actually, it came from the setup we just ran. And this is actually a pretty infamous botnet called Bumblebee. According to uh, Europol, it's one of the largest botnets out there and it has now infected our system. Wait a second, you might say, we just have a DLL file, right? Well, the thing is, if you understand how Windows works, a DLL and an EXE are not that different. A DLL is a library that can be loaded dynamically into any process. So you could have a Windows process that could execute the commands inside of this file, which are going to be malicious, and you would not need any other EXE file for the malware to do what it does. It only took a couple seconds for it to embed itself. Now let's try to find it on our actual system. So I'm just gonna copy over the directory, then we can open it in File Explorer, the actual folder. And as you can see, it does create an empty folder for the NVIDIA driver update, but there's nothing here because it's a Trojan. This was just a masquerade. But if we go back, this is where the DLL is located, which is the actual malware. Now, the way this malware is delivered actually is not even through the actual MSI setup, but it's through this LNK file or what looks like a shortcut, which pretends to be a PDF or a report. So it might look like a PDF and uh, it might come via email. And if you double click on it, it's just going to run a command prompt window. And this is how it's going to download the actual MSI package. Some of the command and control for this may be down, but we're going to analyze the DLL itself and we'll see how well obfuscated that is. So I'll just drop this into the folder um, where we do have the desktop agent for Malcor. So it should speed up the process of analyzing it rather than uploading it somewhere. So we'll wait for it to be scanned. Now, if we look at the analysis report for this, even this particular DLL is very well obfuscated. So the only thing that kind of gives it away is the very high entropy that it has. So it's very much packed, but there aren't a lot of strings that I can see. If we look at the functions that it imports, you can see that it tries to connect to an address probably and it also creates files so some things that might indicate a typical botnet backdoor behavior malcor also classifies this as malicious but we don't really have a lot of interesting strings within the data and uh, we'll kind of look at the hex dump there isn't a lot that you can find here it's all very obfuscated and it could just be another simple command to link to the attacker server where there might be more malware that it's going to download so often these things are part of a chain 
they're not acting alone. So when you have an individual malware, the LNK file that we started with, the MSI file after that, and even the DLL, all of these are working in conjunction. And individually, they may not appear even malicious, but they're all used by the attackers to perform their backdoor operations. The thing about this botnet specifically is that it came back after Europol tried to take it down with Operation Endgame. And this is the latest attack chain that I just showed you, pretending to be either a mid-journey or NVIDIA driver update. And there isn't really a lot more about this file other than the fact that it connects you to the Bumblebee botnet and the command and control infrastructure of the attackers probably. Similar techniques are often used by Chinese APT groups. These are hacker networks that try to deploy advanced persistent threats, sometimes against governments and major corporations. But based on the fact that it's pretending to be an NVIDIA installer, I'm guessing that the target audience for this is very broad. They're likely interested in hacking people's accounts, getting their social networks infected. That's how a lot of these botnets work these days. What they want is your Twitter account, your Facebook account, so they can launch these large scale campaigns. And hopefully this video demonstrates how easily you could get infected by something like this. You just open what appears to be a simple shortcut and then it ends up having a bunch of commands like this that's going to run PowerShell or an MSI installer. And a lot of people are not aware of these things in Windows, what MSI files are, what DLL files are. We've all been kind of trained to look at EXE files with skepticism, but shortcuts, LNK files, even if they look like a PDF or something, can also be running commands. So it's important to really have effective protection because even if you were to analyze this like you just saw even if you had sys internals running and looking up every single process in varstol as i'm doing here you wouldn't see anything malicious and the malware would be dropped so do like and share this video if you found it insightful i also want to thank malcor for sponsoring this video and giving us full access to their agent and their platform so we can analyze any files that we like as you just saw it's a quick and easy way to get a risk breakdown for any file that you have have a quick look at the assembly code if you're into reverse engineering get a hex dump, look at the imports and exports. If you're entering the field of malware analysis or are interested, do check them out using a link in description and show them some love for supporting the channel. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.